As a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ and somebody saved by the great sacrifice that he made to pay for my sin, I love to read from his word all that he has to say about us as his eternal family. What amazing promises he gives. Let's investigate what the Bible tells us about our amazing position as followers of the Lord on today's Senior Insights. As a believer in the saving grace of the Lord Jesus, there are some very real promises from our Heavenly Father found in this love letter that we call the Bible. And I find it very comforting to know that we are locked into his family forever. We can't allow the evil one, uh, the father of lies, Satan himself, to tell us that we're less than what God says we are if we're his. Satan wants us to question everything we're told. Remember he asked Eve in the garden, uh, did God really say don't eat from that tree? I love to read what God really does say and tells us in this book, keeping in mind that all scripture is inspired by God. It's useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and it teaches us to do what's right. First, he calls us his children. We're adopted into his family forever, heirs to all he has. To all who believe, it says, and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God, it says in, in John 1, 12. And in Ephesians 1, it says, God decided in advance to adopt us, even me, into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. It's what he wanted to do. It gave him great pleasure, it says. And 1 Corinthians 6 tells us that a, a person who's joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. You and I, if you're a believer, are forever one with the eternal mighty creator of all heaven and earth? Is that not an amazing thought? God says he sees us, it's hard for me to believe, he sees us sinless and perfect in his sight because of what Jesus has done. Jesus covered us with his righteousness. The Bible says he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his dear son who purchased our freedom and forgave all of our sins. It's Romans 5 that tells us that since we've been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. And because of our faith in him, Christ brought us to this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Are not his promises amazing? His love for us has placed us into his eternal kingdom. It tells us now there's no condemnation for all who belong to Jesus Christ. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit of God has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Yes, I know you're thinking that I've just gone over the edge and I'm talking out of the top of my head, but how often do we really stop and meditate, think about what our Lord Jesus has done? God made us alive with Christ. He forgave all of our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away and nailed it on that cross. It says so in Colossians 2. I'm not only going to share but one more. And I'm so thankful for the peace that I have in these promises from this love letter, God's book. And I hope each of you can see that these are for you as well. I'd hate to think 
that many of the folks that I run across almost every day have not taken the truth found here in this book seriously. All of life eternal depends on our making these promises real in our lives by accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Oh, I don't want to be in heaven without you. And only as his child can we fully appreciate what Paul wrote in Romans 8.38. I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life or, or angels or demons, neither fears that we have for today or worries about tomorrow, not even all of the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in this earth below, indeed nothing in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that's revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Is that not a promise or what? And if you're not completely sure of these promises in your life that are personally yours, as God wants you to know, contact a good Bible church, a Bible-believing pastor near you, or send me a message and get it resolved while you can still do it. All of eternity depends on that one simple decision. And let me know what you think about this message. And if you want me to keep doing them or want them to continue, click on that like uh, icon below so uh, I can tell whether anybody's even watching. But now, dear ones, let's close with our blessing. Oh, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Oh, yes, dear ones, the peace that we have right here in this book the peace that we have in our hearts when we belong to him. He wants to bring you into his family. You have a blessed week, dear ones, and make this step. Nothing else in this whole life is more important than this one step of accepting his gracious gift. God bless you all. I'll see you next Thursday.